how to enable Wayland on Pop OS Linux 22.04. Okay, let's get started. Okay, today I'm going to show you how to enable Wayland to be used on Pop OS Linux. How to enable Wayland and then how to actually and then how to log into a Wayland session and then verify that you're actually in a Wayland session. Okay, so we got the pop up here now. Let's go to terminal. Let's check out what kind of session we're in right now. This is the command that we're going to use right here. And we're going to focus on the display part here, display in the server. See, it's X and X. Now, one or both of these should change. Actually, on mine, when I did it on mine and I logged into a Wayland session, this display part did change from X11 to Wayland. The server did not. And I was expecting it to change as well, since I believe Wayland is also a display server. But uh, this didn't change. But I think just by virtue of this part changing here was enough to verify that I was actually in a Wayland session. Okay, so once you're done editing, editing the file, we're going to edit and then uh, restarting your, your, your uh, GDM, your GNOME Display Manager. Then you can come here and check with this command here and verify what kind of session you're in here. Okay? So a couple of things we got to do. We get to edit one file, and that file is here. So in a pseudo session, I'm going to use the in, term, the in term, terminal editor nano, and I'm going to edit this file here, which lives in this path here. Etsy GDM3, GNOME Display Manager 3, custom.conf configuration. Okay, so once that's keyed in, enter on that, arrow down to the Wayland Enable True line here make sure it's uncommented there's no hash mark to the left of the W which there's not and the value should be set as true pretty simple once that's edited like that in nano I can control O and save the file control X and exit the file okay that's first step second step is going into a pseudo session and using the system control Service Manager, we're going to restart that GDM service, the GNOME Display Manager. I won't do it here because it's going to kill my connection and my recording will stop. But once you do that, it'll log you out, put you on a new login screen, and then in the lower right-hand corner, there'll be a cog wheel. Click on that, choose Pop on Wayland. It'll log you into your desktop as usual, and then use this command here again and hopefully at least one at least one of these will have changed for you probably this one here which is what happened on my system this became Wayland like I said I thought this would change as well it did not I thought that it's a server but I'm pretty sure it went through correctly and I'm pretty sure just by virtue of, of this the display entry here being Wayland that I actually was in a Wayland session okay so that's pretty simple that's that's uh, how to you know uh, enable Wayland, and then uh, how to restart your uh, display manager. Then uh, choose a Wayland session in your login screen, and then how to verify that you're actually in a login that you're actually in a Wayland session. Now, mind you, Wayland is um, not fully baked, as far as I, from my understanding, and it's best to stay on X as long as you can, since it's stable. And then look for art. Just keep re reading articles about Wayland and, and wait for articles to come out saying something to the effect that it's it's more fully baked and more ready for um, for mainstream use or whatever. Okay, so that's it. Thank you for so that that's how to you know that's how to enable a Wayland session on Pop OS Linux 22.04. Okay, thank you for watching. I look forward to your comments and your feedback. Thank you.